so hot in here. <laughs> that, is that how you want to start it? It's so hot in here. It is. Uh, we had to turn the AC off to record. I have swords. Ooh. Because we care Ooh. about your sound quality. Uh, I really do, actually. Yes, I. I I've gotten really particular after editing your YouTube videos for a while. Yes. Just no! If you guys like books, <laughs> you should watch my channel, which is Super Space Chick. No! <laughs> Don't watch her channel! Why? My channel's the best. I'm kidding. Ugh. I mean, yeah. it's not really the best, but If it's you're interested cool, in books, Kristen is part of the BookTube community, and she likes to review books and talk about the books she's reading, and do book tags where they apply books to random questions along arbitrary themes. Yes. They're, they're not arbitrary. They're picked for a reason. Fair enough. But I do love... I love talking about books. She does. Actually... Uh, by the time this goes up, her bookshelf tour should be up. So you can check that out and just see how many books she has and why moving her out of her apartment <laughs> in the city it's and then fun. into this apartment was so exhausting. Um, books are really important. And books are our future. The you think it's the children, but it's not the children. It's the books. books. That just continues to give back. So. We can always get more children. We run out of books. Where's the knowledge? You make a very good point. We'll work on that if we're ever going to have kids. Oh, no. No, no, go, no, go. I'll be fine. Oh, no, I won't be fine. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. I was far enough away. That and you'll be happy out. to know I'm not counting, so I have no idea how many more you have to go. I actually think I know how many more you have to go now. <laughs> Don't stress me out. You have 87 more hits to go. Take your time. Oh, you're going to be super close to me, aren't you? 86 more now. No, I did it. Was that it? Yeah. Nice. Success! <laughs> now I get to go to my favorite world in the whole entire game. This bee world. Awesome. This is what I was waiting for. You like for. the bees? Okay. I'm into this. I love the bee world. The bee world's the best. There's I thought you liked the carnival world. And there's the honey levels. Wait, that's the same world? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was the carnival. Yeah. There's only like one annoying level with barrels, but the rest of them are amazing. All right. Well, for the rest of you, settle in while I continue to do these levels. You'll get them. You'll get them slow. Are you kidding me? All right. I'm figuring out the, the pattern. You know what that dragonfly just reminded me of? What? <laughs> we were walking home the other day, and then you got attacked by a giant oh God. <laughs> cicada. <laughs> this cicada, like, there was a part of me that thought it was a bat, except for I saw it. <laughs> it had bug-like wings. And it just, no, 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 no. No, no, this is my Shia LaBeouf impression. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we were walking back uh, to the apartment from the train station and just this black thing flies straight in my chest and goes <laughs> and falls to the ground. Cause I was like, what was that? I don't want to scare him. I'm like, uh, and then it flies away. It's like, <laughs> it was so it was scary. like a two inch long cicada. It was huge. So all of those news reports for the last five years about this is the summer that the cicadas will come out in number. It's going to be this summer. It's true. And they've been they're sleeping here. and they're huge. They're, they've been dormant and they're back. They've been dorming. And they went away to college. They've finished their undergrad and they're coming for you. Yes. But you know what? No, they're like, they're actually. That's true. Some of them were undeclared and didn't quite finish. Uh, they're living with their yeah. parents again. As I, t as I told you that day, they're like super blind. So that one probably was just thinking I was flying along and then hit like flew into a wall because it can't no. see anything. There's blind. And then there's super blind. They so... can't see so much that, what is super blind? It's like cicadas. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> 
Sure thing. The superhero super blind is just a giant cicada. Spider-Man really lucked out. Getting Why? bit by a radioactive... Well, get... He's like lost a lot of people. Yeah, well, that could have happened anyway. But being bit by a radioactive spider, he can stick to walls and he can sense things and he's strong. He could have grown extra legs and become super hairy or gotten pincers, like, or eight eyes. That's a good point. He did okay. Speaking of Spider-Man, um, Dan asked if he could take us out to dinner today. <laughs> um, just reminded me. He wanted. He wants to go to dinner with us today? No, not Because that is a little <laughs> no, late for that. <laughs> no, um, end of July. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Because I said that we're busy the week coming up and then... I was like, but the next week, but he, I think he's going to London or something, and then... Should we go over more of our schedule while we're playing and recording? I need to do some laundry tomorrow, um, and then I have to pick up the dry cleaning. Um, I'm going to bake. Oh, this is such an insight into our exciting lives. Also, I have to film my own um, videos and... Book videos. Yeah, and outfit photos. Oops also I do those but they're all book related so when we were down did, I, did we talk about taking photos with spider-man while we were in Universal Studios uh, I don't think so okay so we went to Universal Studios for one of the days of our honeymoon and there was a spider-man there I say a spider-man because I'm old enough I oh recognize no! that wait I need him no come go, back go get him go get him you're sticking <laughs> the stuff oh you hit a B he's right there Oh no! Oh! <laughs> he's trapped behind the barrel! <laughs> the bee's gonna get you. No, he's not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh just No, you gotta just jump straight up. Don't move. Just jump straight up. Got him! <gasps> wow. I would say that was lucky, but that was actually a really unfortunate situation. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, so there was a Spider-Man there, and we we took a photo with him, and he asked where we were from, and of course Kristen told him New York, is, and he's like, oh my neck of the woods. It didn't sound like a surfer dude, but you know what? A little. We'll pretend he did. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah my neck of the woods. Um, and Kristen mentioned that she knows uh, the guy who has written Spider-Man, and he was just like, oh wow, that's so cool. Except for that one story arc, and it suddenly got very awkward. He was like, he, what did he say? He was like, oh, that's cool. And he was like, he writes really good stories. And I was like, yeah, he does. He, he was very was, nice about him. And he was like, except for uh, that one, that one, that whole superior Spider-Man. Kind of screwed, screwed me over, over with that one. That one. And that was so funny. I was like, yeah, but you have a really cool job. And he was like, that's true. We've confirmed something, though. Spider-Man reads his own comics. Yeah, that's true. I don't intend to watch these videos any more than I have to to edit them. But Spider-Man likes to read his comics. Well, he's probably really excited about it. He's a young superhero. This is why he can't hold down a job. He, he has an awesome job. Oh yeah, right. Isn't he a billionaire now? He has money. He's well off. He's, he's doing alright. He doesn't like to talk about it. Let's not talk numbers. It's a little rude in mixed company. Yeah. Yeah. But he's he's doing fine. I don't like that. Because he's basically working for Apple. That's like pretty much his job. Does he really work for Apple in the comics? No, it's like... Mm, I almost said Horizon Labs. But that's not it. Or no, maybe it is Horizon Labs. Well, I said Horizon Labs. I was thinking Star Labs, which is Flash. But I think it is. Everybody's got a lab. Every superhero has some source of... No, actually, that's not true. I was going to say a lab or a source of income. But that's what made Spider-Man great. He was just a smart guy who had, like, no money and could barely hold a job. He Excuse me, I'm burping. But now, he in the comics, he's currently, like, loaded. But in, like, two years, they're going to pretend that never happened and rewrite the whole story. Because that's how the comics do. They, yeah, they just redo everything. What, they're actually redoing... There's a new storyline that's coming out. <gasps> that, Gasp! That is, uh... Clone... Genesis? 
clone. Yeah, it's like part two of the clone saga. The Clone Wars. Clone. Yeah. No, they're redoing no, it. Like, Disney owns Marvel and Star Wars, so they're doing Sp- they're putting Spider Man in the Star Wars Clone Wars. No. Yeah. He's gonna have web slinging lightsabers, and uh, him and Yoda are gonna swing from trees to tree. I want to get rid of this paper. Mm. Um, no, they are. They're they announced it the other day. What did they actually announce? I was that too into my idea about Star Wars Spider Man. That they're crossover. doing a new clone story arc for Spider Man. They need to leave. These... And that it will be better than the first one. Or the second one, or the third one, or the fifteen years Spider Man was a clone. <laughs> Spider-Man. You know what? You're right. I wish he didn't get these powers. Poor Spider-Man. He could use a normal life. He could. I feel bad for him. But he's so I cool. I feel bad for the viewers. Because this video is over.